think the main three reasons that we're here, number one is for the animals to show them that someone cares, to witness them. Uh, number two is to show the public that this is here, all the cars uh, driving past. And number three would be for the activists themselves to just feel, basically. I think it's important that we're here because otherwise these animals are invisible victims and someone has to witness that. I'm here because I want to show the public that these animals are individuals. Every single one of them have a heart and they feel pain and they feel joy and most of all at the moment they're feeling fear so we want to show people that. I just think it's important that we're here just to um just to bear witness to these animals in their final moments, um, just to share their pain with, with the people out there and hope they make the connection to their suffering and put it into it. Hey, so we're here at the vigil um, in Auckland. The animals need our support. Um, there's no need to eat them anymore. You know, we've got better things to eat. And Master Chefs, come on, you can think of something else plant based. Thanks. So the reason we're here today, we want people to see that with the neatly wrapped packet that they buy at the supermarket is a living, breathing being and it does not want to die and you can live without supporting this cruelty. What they're about to go through is absolutely horrible and we want people to associate that with their actions. Yeah. I think it's very important that we uh, show people what's happening behind closed doors to spread the awareness how animals are cruelly treated so maybe one day people will be kinder and stop eating them. I believe it's important that we're here because the animals don't have a choice so the choice for us to be here is to support the animals who go through such a horrible process. It's important to acknowledge the suffering of all creatures, all living beings. All creatures are deserving of a life free from fear and pain. People just live in blissful ignorance. They don't know who they're eating. We're here to show them. We're here to show them that. Show them the faces behind what they're eating. to let others know that people do care about these animals that are going into slaughterhouses, that it's not just a normal thing, that other people do oppose it. And also it's important to get that footage, to get those photos, to share it with others, to break that cognitive dissonance so that people know that they are eating someone or something. So I've come along today to give a voice to the animals that are trapped. They don't have a voice and they're here to be slaughtered. They can't do anything about it, so if that was me, I'd want someone to be here for me. I'm here to witness for the animals that are going into the slaughterhouse and uh, I think it's really important that we connect with them and show them love. So we've done our first official Auckland Animal Save Vigil. 
Um, the people behind me, the remaining volunteers, are just snacking on some food, kindly provided by Hungry for Raw, so that's really yummy. Thank you, guys. Um, big thank you to everyone who came out, especially people who have come from a long way. We've had people coming from Hamilton, Tauranga, Puhoi, all over Auckland, so thank you very much, and thank you for getting the day off work if you did that. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, the sun came out quite a bit more than we expected, but that was pretty good. Um, the security were pretty on board, actually, with... Um, giving us some cones, some road cones. We weren't allowed on their driveway, but we were allowed on their property. Um, so they were actually really accommodating, which is a great start to get off to. We weren't able to stop any trucks, but we did witness some animals coming through on the trucks and were able to very quickly bear witness to them. So hopefully in future, once we build up more of a relationship with the slaughterhouse and they understand that all we want to do is stop the trucks for two minutes and bear witness, then hopefully we will be able to do that in future. So we've just got to keep up the effort and keep coming to these vigils. So the next vigil is going to be posted on the Auckland Animal Save Facebook page, so just keep posted for that. And thank you so much. See you at the next one.